If you have a boarding stable, here is a tip to save money. Anytime you are buying hay um, or forage of any kind, it is always going to save you money when you have a boarding stable to get hay in as large of a bale as you can handle at your facility. A lot of people will feed two strand bales because it's a lot easier to manage or whatever. If you will cater your operation to manage with bigger bales, um, that is going to save you money per pound. It is always cheaper to buy like this as a three by three by eight. It's always going to be cheaper per pound to buy this bale than it would be to buy like a two strand bale or a three strand bale or anything like that. It's also going to be cheaper to buy a three by four than it would be to buy a three by three. So whatever your operation can handle with a tractor um, in your labor and how you feed, uh, it is always going to save your money to save you money to buy larger bales. If you have a boarding stable, here's a tip to save you some money. A lot of people will feed a multitude of different feeds and a lot of boarding stables will feed a ton of different supplements. The biggest thing that you can do to save money at a boarding stable is to save on labor. Uh, labor is going to be uh, having different bags of feed, having to order and keep different bags of feed, having to add all these different supplements. Not only could it be dangerous uh, by accidentally giving the wrong horse the wrong supplement, but it's also very labor intensive, which costs you money. So if you have a boarding stable, I would feed a feed that is kind of in the middle of a lot of different ranges. So a feed such as Triumph Professional Pellet, the Horseman's Elite Pelleted, or the Purina Strategy would be all feeds that are not the premium, premium feeds, but they're also not uh, very economical feeds. They're kind of in the middle of the feed world. They also come with enough protein and enough fat for the majority of horses. If you have a boarding stable, here's a tip to save you some money. Anytime that you get feed in bags, it is going to cost you more than if you get feed in bulk. Depending on where you're at in the world, uh, we're in Oklahoma, it is always going to be cheaper to have a semi ship directly to your house and auger off feed into a bulk bin. If you don't know about that uh, process, you can send me a DM and I can explain it. But um, anytime you feed bags, it's going to be very labor intensive because typically you have to go either pick up the bags or have them delivered and then moved or stacked into a room, then moved or stacked onto a uh, wheelbarrow or a cart or a gator or whatever it might be, and then dispersed. If you feed in bulk feed, the feed is brought to you and unloaded. You don't have to deal with bags. You don't have to deal with unloading. You don't have to un do any transportation in that whole process. So uh, always feed in bulk instead of bags if you're at that capacity.